Well, we're back at the pro shop working on the 69 L88 car. Last week, we totally disassembled the car. Now we put it on the dolly. We're ready to move it around and to get the body stripped, the paint stripped off the body. Now, people always ask us, why is it important to strip the paint off the car? Well, there's one main reason is you want to remove all the paint that's checked and crazed. Remember the hood on this car? It was starting to check and craze. The tops of the fenders were starting to crack. Those cracks are coming from right into the fiberglass. And if you don't get all the paint off of it, it's it's going to come back to haunt us later. A lot of people will spend a little bit extra money at this stage, but it's really worth doing. Now we had a few options in stripping the paint. You can do it by hand, which is really time consuming. You have to worry about the chemical going into the fiberglass, or you can do it with a blaster like Mike. We ended up opting for the walnut shells. Walnut shells and a fine grit will do a real good job on aluminum as well as fiberglass, and it won't do any damage to the parts. It can remove the paint and the primer and leave a nice smooth finish. Well, the whole idea behind Media Blast is to remove the paint from the primer. It's really not going to attack the body filler. So once we get it back from the blaster, we have to remove all of the body filler by hand using a DA. You can see here on the bottom of the rocker, you've got the original maroon, then we've got a, a yellow primer here, which is probably like a three plus one, and then a high build primer or body filler. And it's really tough to remove that high build or the body filler. You can see a few chunks here. That's going to have to be removed by hand. Well, underneath the car, this car, somebody had painted black. That's not the way a Corvette originally came. Corvette came raw fiberglass, sort of a natural look. So in order for us to strip this, we started stripping it, and it got a little bit aggressive, and you can start seeing the strands, so we backed off. But what we also discovered is you can see some of the original markings here. You have a 44A that somebody put on the assembly line. We're going to duplicate that as we're doing this restoration. We also found a fair bit of damage around the bell housing area and the firewall. And I think what happened at some point, L88 Corvettes at the drag strip, guy rips a clutch out of it and tears up the whole firewall. The repair has been made, but we're going to have to fix this here because you can see where the two pieces of fiberglass were bonded together and then you lose that whole seam on the fiberglass repair. We're going to have to make that look original again. Now what we did to strip the bottom because the walnut shells was a little too aggressive to actually get all the paint and sort of undercoating off is we ended up stripping it by hand. And what we used is some paint stripper and some lacquer thinner and a scotch bright pad and it gives that original finish underneath this thing so it looks stock. Well, it's not often you get a chance to actually see the bonding strips from underneath the car, but you can clearly see here where the quarter panel, this is the bonding strip, the quarter panel, and the, the deck lid panel lay over top of the bonding strip and then there's a thin seam on the outside. Same thing with the tail light panel here. You can see the bonding strip that attaches the top panel to the tail light panel. What you can see here is the tail light panel is one piece, the top or deck panel is another piece, and they butt up against each other, but there's a gap here. Behind this whole section is the bonding strip, and that's exactly what it does, is it bonds these two panels. Then this gap here is filled with bonding adhesive or vet fill. And these seams go all the way around the car. They go around the quarter panels, the front fenders, and these panels are actually bonded together and these seams on great original cars are sunk in. Now some NCRS guys will want to see those seams. This one's already been filled once on the last restoration and Larry wants this restoration, the body, to be better than it was originally so we're going to fill these seams in and make it a lot straighter than the way the car was. Now next week we're going to show you about fiberglass repair. All the cracks, all the little areas that were damaged, we're going to show you how to fix those.